all right i had to basically redo this whole video because i thought my voice um because i got a new mic i got the road mic the tv's on in the background but since this is a direct mic it's not picking up the the tv in the background so that's great um so welcome to my channel this I keep saying this. My name is MJ. I am a real estate agent from the Bay Area. You know, mainly, I don't even know if you call it uh, Bay Area because I'm from Fairfield. I'm from Solano County. Um, if you don't know where that is, and if you know where Napa is, which everyone fucking knows where Napa is, it's just for the city over and the, the county over. Um, it's where Vallejo is from. If you're from the Bay, you know we know where Vallejo is. Fairfield, Vacaville, Rio Vista, Dixon. Um, too soon and uh, you know that's where I'm from right so just wanted to basically give a recap of my 2021 what my expectations were going into the year you know what really happened what my expectations are and my goals for 2022 and I can have this accountability video because when I make the recap for 2022 next year I have something to look back on right so first and foremost just want to say I appreciate everyone who took part of my success and my overall being in 2021. It's, you know, I thought after we went through together in 2020, 2021 was a lot better. In the grand scheme of things, you know, as the world, not really. Um, you know, maybe it's probably worse. It probably got worse. Um, but I am grateful to still be here. I am grateful for my family and friends to still be there. Uh, my wife for still being, you know, a part of this journey and then our dogs we met just recently um you know just full-on grateful and appreciation to all of you now i got my real estate license in march 10th i believe a few days before my, my wife's birthday and currently i am what nine about nine months in to to my license and in nine months i was able to do three sales um with a sales volume of a ballpark number three like 2.9 to 3.1 million um, my first deal was a was a big one um, second was good third was good as well but my first two sales were from my previous team really and then my 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 third sale is with my current team all right uh, but it all it's, it's a confusing thing we'll have to explain later uh, but my expectations going into the year you know I knew that I was gonna get my license but my expectation truly was to get five closing deals at least five and um i didn't really think about sales volume because i didn't really give care too much about it until i got more into the game so five homes closed um uh, at least income of fifty thousand, right and when as as the time goes by I realized that it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. I knew, I knew real estate was hard one way or the other, but I didn't expect it to be the way that it was. I had high expectations. I had unrealistic expectations on how it is and how I was gonna be. So there was a lot more, I guess, self, self doubt. Um, I wanted to quit the first, what, five months in, six months in. Um, Cause I wasn't having, I wasn't producing anything. My first sale came in seven months to my license, um, and it was it was just tough overall to be in a mental, positive mental state when six months in nothing's going on for you, right? And that's one thing that I want to you know share with all of you in a different video is that when you see these real estate moguls and real estate individuals you know, all our listings, and maybe your neighbor who's making millions of dollars, you got to realize that that they have their own beginning story. They have, they could, you know, they could be a rookie, right? But they started somewhere where they already branded themselves of, of something, all right? So I always look at it that way when I see, you know, mentors and my mentors and, you know, real estate individuals who I look up to, like Ryan Serhan, um, Tom Ferry, even, you know, with himself, they have a backstory they have their own story so that's a different video just wanted to really say that out loud that it's not what you think it is truly um but yeah my expectation was five ended up with three i didn't have expectations on sales uh, sales volume um but i ended up with 3.1 um 
um, I was part of two teams. One, I was the beginning of my licensure. I was with EXP Realty um, under Porsche Live Bay Area, led by Danny Burgess. And, you know, that time was amazing, right? And I have nothing but respect and gratitude and, and appreciation to Team Porsche Light overall. Mark Panson started in San Diego, extended it all the way to Florida, um, to the Bay Area, and many more. And they have agents from all around the nation to just be part of one group and help each other out. I was able to reach out to some people in San Diego who was able to help me out in certain things and questions answered. Um, so that was great, right? I learned I, my, my beginning journey started there and I was just I was, like, I was just like a rookie all the way through. I was hungry, I'm so hungry for success, but there was so much more to learn, so much more that I could, I could really ingest. Um, but I wanna say I appreciate Danny, um, Charlene and Xander and Amanda for giving me the opportunity to really be a part of that environment to be needs to for them to be my starting point you know i can't i can't be more grateful i can't be more appreciative of, of all of them right my brother-in-law is there and it's just so fun to see him succeed because you know i've been knowing him for 10 plus years no nine about going on 10 years and i just love the fact that we get to be in a journey together in two different paths right but you know i ended up moving from the peninsula to Solano County. So it didn't make sense for me to continue being part of the team and being part of that environment and neighborhood knowing that I wasn't gonna be there 90% of the time. And it was just, it was gonna be hard for me to talk to clients and be really part of the, the neighborhood when I don't know shit about it. I don't live there. I can't tell you where the best place to eat. I can't tell you where's the closest park. What's the best school district? Uh, where is the nearest this and that I can't tell you because I'm not from there and that's one of the things that I want to you know really put out there and let you guys know letting all of you know is that being and knowing your neighborhood is so much more valuable than you think right you you hear you know you just gotta fake it till you make it and learn the neighborhood as you go but it's so much different when you just know so I moved to the place that I know and that was already the plan um, previously just you know manifested and it was time for me to go. Um, I ended up joining Level Up Realty and it was founded, brokered by Nicole Solari, who was also my very close mentor, who I'm literally side by side to every single day, learning from her and her years of experience and how she became one of the top agents in Solano County and if not in Northern California. Level Up Realty was also in the top 100 in Northern California. And I believe the only team to be in the the 100 list, which I'll link down below, in the entire county. It's crazy how you really think about it that way. Um, so I'm very privileged, very grateful, and very appreciative to Nicole for giving me the opportunity to be part of her team and you know being a partner in all of this. So I have another great mentor to learn from and to just excel my career in 2022. So just to recap that part, two teams, Porsche Bay Area with EXP Realty. Now I'm with Level Up Realty with Nicole Solari. I had a goal of five sales, I believe. I don't remember, really. Uh, ended up with three. Uh, sales volume ended at 3.1, roughly. And um, GCI, I think I wanted to be at 50. Um, and I, I excelled that. I think I ended up at 75, I believe. 70, 75. Um, but that is completely different. That's a different topic as well. But anyways, just wanted to, again, big and huge thank you to, I move a lot. Be a big, huge thank you to anyone, everyone that you've been a part of, everyone that I talked to, to my friends and family who supported me. I fucking all love all of you. Um, there's more to come. I, I'm, I'm so much, I, I told my wife this today, that I have never been more sure, committed, and dedicated to excelling myself at a higher level. Um, I, I know I have the utmost potential to be one of the best agents out there. I just have to go out there and learn and, and grab it 
right? I'm sorry I keep looking at my watch only because I'm waiting for my food. Um, <laughs> um, uh, personally, you know, when it comes to 2021, I just had a goal to be a better person than 2020, 2019, uh, 2020, uh, be, be a better son, be a better husband to my wife. Um, and I believe I know, I believe I've achieved that, right? Um, I, I was able to provide, um, towards the end, I mean, the, the first eight months of the year, I was literally like ass, um, <laughs> um, I'm, you know, I understand better, I listen better, um, and those, those are the growing pains, those are the, the growth that I look forward to, and I feel like every step of the way that I get to be there, I get to go there, it's always, um, much celebrated, right, so, what are my expectations for 2022? Let's start with personal, right? I just want to say something else. Um, something happened the last 48 hours, 72 hours that was unprecedented. We did not expect it. Um, no, it's not a baby. That it's it's some it's definitely a great way for my wife and I to start 2022. Um, we will let you know. I will let you know personally, maybe six months in. But we, we're very, very excited for it. And uh, we just pray that everything works out well. Uh, but anyways, my expectations for 2022, my goals. Let's start with personal. Um, I want, my goal is to get under 205. 205, 215. Um, that's my, you know, where I want to be throughout the whole year. Currently, I'm at 230. Um, I was at, no, currently I'm at 226. I've been floating at 226 the last two weeks. 226, so I have, what, 10 pounds? 10, let's just say 10, 20 pounds left for the year for me to go. That's the no-brainer if I, were, if I just keep my shit together. I want to be able to compete in three sparring races. Uh, doesn't matter where, but just three. I want to be able to, um, grow my organization, Heathens, my eSport organization that no one knows about in this channel um, to a new a new heights, apparel, um, eSport wise, competitive gaming content. Um, my biggest, one of my biggest passion beside, you know, business photography is eSport, it's gaming. I love gaming. So I'll link all that below. I mean, you can see who we are, what we do. Uh, but I want to grow that to a scalable level. Um, and you'll see. You'll see what I mean. I'll talk about it here and there, but not specifically in the channel. And honestly, just bettering myself, right? Having more knowledge, having more information. Um, you can never be too smart. You can never be... You can never know more. Or too, too more. I don't even know if I said that right. But you... I just want to know more. I want to read more books. That was my goal, too. Is at the end of the year, I want to read 20 books. 20 books I had to go to read one book a year or uh, one book a month last year oh uh, this year I think I got to like such so 12 I think I got to like eight uh, the last five months I haven't read a single book um, so my favorite book that I read last year this year I keep saying last year this year um, is big money energy from Ryan Sarhan I think that was one of my favorites and atomic habits um, so read 20 books run a mile under 10 minutes the last, the last time I did it, I ran 10 minutes and 5 seconds. So, just run under 10 minutes in a mile. And real estate wise, I want to hit 20 families. Um, not hit 20 families, but I want to help 20 families get to their homes or sell their homes. Whether it be buying or selling. 20 families. Um, I want to have a sales volume of 10. 10 million. Uh, I want to have a GCI of $150,000. I at least want to net half of that, right? Um, again, different conversation, different topic. Um, and I want to be able to have, I, and the graphing things, I want to be able to have my business at least more towards my sphere of influence and the people I know and the people I talk to personally than relying it on my team, right? So I don't want more leads from my team, I want to be able to go grab it myself. And that's being known and growing my brand. I think that's my, my most unapologetic thing to do this year is growing me, right? My brand, 
my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, TikTok for crying out loud. Um, anything, anything of that sort, be social media is growing my brand. Because at the end of the day, I want people to know me for me. I want people to know me first than anything else. So when you think of me, when you hear real estate, you know me. That is my goal. That is my biggest and ultimate goal this year. How can I measure that? It's towards, you know, people reaching out to me more because of what I do, right? Not relying so much on the team aspect, um, but that's it. Um, honestly, I, I think this is my, oh, give me a second. Hello? Hello? Is it read? Oh, my bad. Had to go grab my food outside. Um, <laughs> oh, catch my breath. Whew. Anyways, just wanted to finish this off. Again, much appreciation and, and so much gratitude towards everyone who took a part of my growth this year. Um, I really feel like I ran a marathon. See, that's what I mean. I want to be able to get my health under, uh, you know, to be better, because this is not happening to me losing breath and talking to y'all. But, um, again, much appreciation to everyone who took a big part of my success and my growth this year. 2022 is going to be bigger. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be better. That's always going to be the way that it is, right? Moving forward, it's always to be better than the day before. Uh, when it comes to my my YouTube channel, um, more content for sure, um, more real estate content, but at the same time, more real estate, so like more personal things as well. So maybe 75% real estate, 25% personal. That way you can get to know who I am outside of real estate and see who you might be working with, right? So if you stayed until the end, if you stayed right now, thank you. If you stayed until now, Hit the like button because it does help with the YouTube YouTube algorithm some new shit and make sure that the red button that subscribe turns gray because that means you subscribe so if you can subscribe and share this to your friends and my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers at the end of the year I mean that I'm like I'm literally like a quarter done just need three more quarters so again thank you thank you like subscribe to the video I appreciate all of you happy new year Let's have a great year together. And if you have any questions uh, regarding anything, to be honest with you, hit the link down below. Follow my socials. I am the most active on Instagram. Stories, reels, posts. Follow me. Get to know me. Let's talk. Have a great year. Let's see 2022 better.